All right, starting to feel the sit bones connect to the floor, the mat, the pillow, the bolster. And tucking the pelvis in slightly, eliminating that curve from the lower back. And tucking the ribs in. And moving into the sternum, lifting the chest, lifting the clavicles up to the chin, and then leaning the chin a little bit back down to the chest. And when we drop the chin slightly, we elongate the back of the neck and create space between the skull and the shoulders. And then relaxing the palms and the thighs. Just connect to breathing. You can relax the eyes. Relax the eyelids and start inhaling through the nose, paying attention to the inhale. Exhale nose, pay attention to the exhale. Inhaling, feeling the air come through the nostrils. Exhale, feeling the air leave the nostrils. And then we'll move into the neck, so dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhaling and imagining the inhale come into the left side of the neck creating space on the left side, maybe adding the weight of the right palm on the left ear, just adding a tiny bit of pressure. And then with the next exhale, dropping the left shoulder down, breathing slowly still through the nose. Next inhale, come back to the center left ear, left shoulder, maybe the left palm on the right ear if that feels right. Inhale, exhale, dropping the right shoulder down away from the right ear, creating space on the right hand side of the neck. Breathing slowly. And then inhaling, coming back to center, and we'll get right into moving the hips. So bringing the heels down from both legs 90 degrees, and we'll start here. So exhaling, dropping the knees to the left, and then inhale, knees up. Exhale, drop the knees to the right. And then maybe the torso moves as well in a twist to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, knees to the left. Tiny twist to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Twisting to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. And then we'll stay here. So right palm will come to the left knee. And then twisting from here to the left. Twisting from the belly button, through the chest, through the shoulders, and the neck, and the face. And then maybe as an option, the fingertips come down to the ground. And you can bring the chest down any amount here. So exhale and bring the chest down. Maybe the forehead touches the ground. You'll feel this all in the right hip flexor. And then maybe you're moving the right knee and the right foot back behind you. 
or maybe it needs to come closer. So feeling into what the body needs today in this moment. And then inhaling, bringing the chest up if you were down. And then bringing the knees all the way to the right. And then coming into the twist on the right. A left palm, right knee, twisting from that torsion. Twisting to the right through the belly button, the chest the clavicles, the shoulders, the neck, the face comes last and the twist and letting go of the torsion and then fingertips come down, the chest can relax towards the floor, again maybe the forehead touches the ground, so feel this in the left hip flexor and then the left waist And then inhale and coming back up. And then we'll move into the butterfly. Dob, I'm just gonna mute you. Okay, so coming into the butterfly next. Maybe there's a pillow under the pelvis, under the bum, or maybe folded blanket, whatever you have. And then bringing the feet together, relaxing the knees, and then opening the feet like a book. You're connecting the outer edges of the feet and separating the inner edges of the feet, opening up. And as you open through the feet, that sends the message to the rest of the bones to start opening up outward. So then stay here for a few moments, feeling into the hips here. As you inhale, the inhale travels into the hip joints. The knees become heavy, traveling closer to the ground. And then maybe you start leaning forward, maybe with a straight back, maybe with a rounded back, whatever feels good today. And then remembering not to force, not to push, accepting this pose and where you are at exactly as it is right now. One more big inhale through the nose with awareness and sending that fresh air into the hips. And then exhale, relax the right hip. And next exhale, relaxing the left hip. And then maybe if it's too much, coming up, twisting to the right, inhale center, exhale twist into the left. And these are just options you can stay down. The other option you can try is moving the heels and the feet away from the pelvis and then bringing your arms underneath the legs, bringing them forward. And then that bring, brings the chest forward a little bit more. So only if that feels good. And then inhaling, transitioning to the ground. Laying down on your back, bringing the knees in with you into the chest. Then we'll start with gentle rolling left to right, massaging the spine, the pelvis. You can close the eyes here and start relaxing the shoulders into the floor. Relax the back of the head into the ground. 
and then engage the arms a little bit. So feel the strength in the biceps pulling the knees into the chest, into the armpits. And keep pulling. Now we're going to relax the left leg, bring the left leg all the way down to the floor. Keep the right knee in. Maybe both palms intertwine, bringing the right knee into the armpit. And then exploring the right hip socket. So maybe small circles with the knees clockwise and then making those circles larger and seeing how far the hip joint is letting you move and just noticing without judging the joint, without judging the body, without judging yourself, where you are at, where you're not at. Just noticing what it feels like on the right side. And then switching the direction counterclockwise this time. You can start with big circles and then come into smaller circles with the right knee. And this will feel very different. Sometimes it feels different for me. And so again, not judging it, not comparing it, but just noticing like, ah, okay, this is how it is here in this direction right now. And the entire time we're moving the hip, you're also relaxing the shoulders into the ground. And if you notice that the shoulders are hiked up to the ears, that's usually a sign that there's some anxious or stress out energy in the body. So you're relaxing with awareness, the shoulders into the floor. And then we'll switch the sides so the right leg can rest long on the ground. A left knee can come into the chest, into the armpit. And maybe at first you stay here without any movement, just feeling into how deep the knee can travel into the armpit. And then maybe introducing clockwise circles with the left knee. And then making the circles bigger and bigger with every inhale. And then we'll switch the direction so counterclockwise this time, opening up the knee, opening up the hip. And last few breaths here. And then if you're ready, we'll come into happy baby. So bringing the feet up, showing your feet to the ceiling. And then maybe the palms are behind the knees, maybe at the calves, maybe outside the feet, maybe inside the feet. Maybe you have a strap holding the feet with the strap. Whatever option you picked, stay there for a few breaths and then we'll adjust the pose. So from here, notice where the shoulders are in relation to the ears and then relax the shoulders closer to the ground. And then as you engage the arms, you'll feel into the biceps engaging feeling the strength of the arms. And then maybe you notice that the pelvis is rising up. And so that's not wrong, that's fine. But to elongate the spine, if we're after that, we want to bring the pelvis all the way down, flat to the floor, and then tuck the chin and pull it back, the head to the back of the room. And so you're elongating the spine 
as we're opening the hips at the same time, and then rolling whichever direction feels good. And then we're gonna try a different kind of rolling. So not left to right, we'll start rolling front to back. So maybe you bring the knees in here and then rolling, massaging the spine. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. And then if you want a fun challenge, you can see if you can come into a squat at the front of the mat. And so for me to do that, it takes a bit more momentum and a bit more pulling the heels into the butt. So as we come up, see if you want to come into a squat. Pulling the heels into the bum, a bit more momentum, and engaging the core as well as you come up. Woo! Fail. Ah. Fail. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I'm at then. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, I feel like I just had a massage on my spine. Okay, so come into stillness on the back, relax the shoulders into the floor, and then we'll come into a figure four with the hips. So right ankle on the left knee, Maybe the left foot is resting on the ground. And then right palm on the right knee, pressing the right knee away. If this is good for today, then you stay here. If you want more, then you start bringing the left knee, the left thigh into the chest. And come back to breathing through the nose here, slowly. And the right foot stays active, right toes are pointing towards the right knee. And then keeping the legs as they are here, we're going to come into a gentle twist. So you're going to bring all of this construction with the legs towards the left. And you're going to end up with your right foot pressing into the ground. And so you're only going as far to the left as feels good. You'll feel this in the right hip. If this doesn't feel good, just come back to figure four. But if it does, come, come stay in this twist to the left. Maybe you're pressing your right knee away with the left palm and then opening up the right palm to the ground. The gaze can come to the right. So this is a right hip dominant movement. So inhaling, bringing all of that back up with the core, engaging the core. And then relaxing the right leg down, right foot is on the ground, left ankle on the right knee, pressing the left knee away from the face. And then maybe pulling the right hip into the chest and again relax the shoulders, engaging the left foot left toes looking at the left knee and coming into stillness for a few moments tuck the chin pull the back of the head to the back of the room elongate the neck here and then also make sure that the pelvis is flat on the ground so as we're pulling things in, we're also 
leaving the pelvis flat on the floor so these opposing movements happening at the same time. And then if you're ready, keeping both legs exactly the way they are, only shifting everything to the right until the left foot comes flat to the ground. So in this gentle twisting, you'll feel this all through the left glute. And then maybe the right palm is pressing the left knee away from the face. Left arm can relax on the ground. The gaze can come towards the left side. And so in this side, we're our left hip dominant here, feeling into the left side. So as you inhale, send that inhale into the left hip flexor, into the left glute. Okay, and then when you're ready, bringing the knees in to the chest and then we'll do a, a couple rolls again the same way we did front to back and then at some point you're going to decide to do the squat at the front of the mat and then from there we'll transition into a chaturanga so maybe I'll show you if it works okay so you're gaining momentum and you're pulling the heels into the butt and you're engaging the core at the same time. And then from here, you're just going to place the palms down and jump back. And then chaturanga. So we're going to make that one motion. Maybe a couple rolls to get ready. And then when you do your chaturanga, we'll just meet on the belly. And you're gonna rest your left cheek on the ground. And you're gonna bring the arms into a T. And then you're gonna make sure the left thumb is pointing up. And we'll just work with the shoulders a little bit undoing all the bad posture. So left thumb pointing up, and then rolling onto the left side. Maybe the right knee comes up, right foot resting on the ground. So you're opening through the left shoulder. And just rolling as far as feels good in the body today. And then you can also bring your right palm behind you to the small of your back. If that feels good, so that will put a bit more pressure on the left shoulder. If something is too much at some point, you can always come out, take off the pressure from the left shoulder. So you've chosen your variation and you're going to resolve to stay here for a few moments in stillness. And you're going to pay attention to the inhales and exhales. You're going to relax the face and relax the eyes. And then when you're ready, exhale, come roll down onto the belly. And then the right cheek will come to the floor. And the left 
arm is gonna relax and you feel all this blood rushing into the left arm. And then extending the right arm straight out, right thumb pointing up, getting ready to roll onto the right shoulder, so left palm pressing into the ground, maybe the left knee comes up, rolling onto the right shoulder as far as feels good. And then relax the face as you're here, relax the eyes, relax the entire head and feel the weight of the head melt into the ground. And then next exhale, release the right shoulder. Find any remnants of tension in the right shoulder. And exhale, release that into the ground. And if you're ready, exhale, come back down to the belly left cheek to the floor and just feeling the blood come back to the right arm and feeling the weight of the body on the ground relax the belly into the floor relax the chest into the floor and then when you're ready for the next shape. I'm going to bring the palms under the shoulders, bring the toes together and come up into the cobra, bring the chest up. Look up any amount, relax the front of the throat and then looking at your left heel over your left shoulder. And then inhale back to center, looking at your right heel over the right shoulder. Relaxing the glutes, relaxing the low back. And then one more time, maybe pressing into the floor, looking over the left shoulder at the left heel. We're going to stay here for half a minute. So fix the gaze on the left heel. And don't move the eyes. So six breaths. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale back to center. And then looking over the right shoulder, right heel. Fixing the gaze, again, don't move the eyes. Six breaths, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale, come back to center, and then relax face down, forehead to the ground, and feel into the low back here. If relaxing the head on the floor feels good, stay here. If you want more space in the low back, you can come into child's pose. And then decide how close the knees will be or how far the knees will be here. And then connecting the toes together and allow the pelvis to relax into the heels. And then see if you want to walk the fingertips even further to the front of the mat. And start relaxing the chest into the ground.
And then from here, we'll move into the puppy pose. So you're going to lift the pelvis, bring the knees together. And then make sure that the knees are staying right under the hips. And then from this tabletop, just moving the palms away from the face. So we're going to get into the chest and the shoulders. So the bum is still staying over the, the knees and the head is coming slowly closer to the floor. You can rest the head here. And then roll the shoulders back. We'll feel this all across the back. We'll stay here a few moments before we move any further. And maybe this is enough for the body. And if not, if you want more space, then you can start bringing the chin to the ground. And you're allowing them to drop the chest and the armpits closer to the ground. You're opening the throat, so that's why my voice sounds weird here. So the chin is resting on the ground. The chest is moving to the floor. Don't move your neck here. Keep the gaze in one spot. With every exhale, feel the chest melt into the floor even closer. And again, if it's too much, walking the fingertips back a little bit and just resting the head on the ground. Feeling into your shoulders. This also opens mid-back, so whenever you're ready, we'll start walking the fingers back. And then from here, we'll find the plank. So if you're on all fours, we're just going to extend the legs back behind you and pull the heels to the back of the room. So toes are tucked. Pressing the floor away, spreading the fingers wide. And then because we already worked on the hips, we're going to bring in some strength into the hips. So passive mobility is one thing, but active strength is a whole other skill for the hips. So as you're in plank, as I'm talking, you're still engaging the core here, feeling into the front body. And then when you're ready, you're going to start bringing your right knee outside of your right elbow. And then bringing the right foot back. And then left knee comes outside the left elbow. And back. And right knee outside right elbow. And back. And left knee, outside left elbow, and back. And you can keep going or you can come back into child's pose and relax. And catch the breath. And if you're still going, then feel into the deep core muscles that are being activated. And then if you're ready, we'll come and into another round. So come into the plank, press the floor away, engage the deep core muscles, and then 
right knee outside right elbow pausing here for one moment and then back into plank left knee outside left elbow pause one moment exhale back right knee right elbow engage the core feel into the deep belly and back into plank left knee left elbow breathe pause and back and relax now in downward dog so we're still putting some strength onto the shoulders bending the knees deep so that the belly and the low ribs can rest on the thighs here and sending the sit bones up to the ceiling and then maybe if that feels good pedaling the heels one at a time and always staying connected to the breath And then rolling the shoulders away from the ears here. So creating more space across the shoulders. And then so you have options. You can either come rest in the child's pose or you can come into dolphin. So to measure your distance for dolphin, it's this distance in the forearms. So holding onto your elbows and then forearms come down and then feel into what feels good for the shoulders so maybe the palms will come out a little bit and then same movement as with downward dog just sending the pelvis up to the ceiling and keeping the knees bent if that feels good or maybe straightening the legs pressing through the elbows and protracting the shoulders here drop the head between the elbows and press the floor away here as well and start moving the heels towards the floor or keeping the knees bent resting the low ribs on the thighs and then exhale come down to the knees bring the knees together bring the palms to the back of the mat towards the feet and rest the forehead on the ground Feeling the weight of the head melting into the floor. Relaxing the hips. Feeling the weight of the glutes. And then we'll come into a final pose before Shavasana. We'll come into the pigeon. So I don't know why, but I like to have comfy floor for the pigeon. <laughs> Maybe because it's so uncomfortable that I want all the coziness <laughs> of blankies. So we'll come into a pigeon in a way that we don't usually come into for down dog. So sitting on the bum, bringing the knees up with you. 
And then we're just going to relax the knees on the right hand side again, the same way we did in the beginning. And then resting the fingertips in front of the right shin. And then maybe here you have something under the right glute, like a pillow. And then slowly, so you're here, both knees are 90 degrees. And then slowly you're gonna start moving the left leg back. And then maybe the left leg comes straight behind you. And maybe the right heel comes closer to the pelvis. So you decide how far, how deep you want to go and as well make sure that there is something supporting your right hip. Under the right glute there is a pillow or something. And then obviously options, you can come down with the elbows to the ground. You can stack the forearms and rest the forehead. releasing the tension from the right leg, from the right hip. Sending the inhales into the right hip. Relaxing the right glute. slowly starting to come out and then shifting all of your weight to the right bringing the left knee in so we come back to two knees at 90 degrees and then dropping the knees to the left so your left shin is in front of you Palms come in front of the left shin. Maybe now you're shifting that pillow from the right glute to the left glute and then slowly moving the right knee back behind you. And maybe the right knee stays at 90 degrees. Or maybe it goes all the way back. And then find the shape that you can stay in stillness for a few moments. Make sure the left hip is not too open so maybe the left heel comes closer to the pelvis. That will make it a little easier. Or maybe left shin is parallel to the mat. And then maybe you're on your forearms on the ground, maybe stacking the forearms, forehead resting. Wherever you are, we're going to start focusing on relaxing the left hip. So inhaling through the nose and then exhale all the tension from the left side, left glute, left hip.
the stillness physically, but also finding the stillness in the mind. And then when you're ready, shifting all of the weight to the left hip. And then coming to your left side and then coming flat on the back and getting ready for Shavasana here. You can bring the legs in a butterfly pose if you want to, to keep opening the hips for the beginning of Shavasana. Or you can come into the classic corpse pose, preparing for this mini death for 10 minutes. So whatever variation you chose, whether butterfly legs or legs straight out, we'll start with relaxing through the feet. So melting the feet into the floor, melting the heels into the ground. Relaxing the calves, relaxing the knees, relaxing the thighs into the ground. And the pelvis is heavy. Releasing the right glute. And releasing the left glute. and softening the belly. And then spreading that softness from the belly all the way up and to the chest. And melting the right shoulder into the floor. And melting the left shoulder into the floor. And melting the right elbow into the ground. Melting the left elbow into the ground. And then releasing the front of the throat. You can swallow, release the tongue. Relax the front of the throat and relax the lower jaw. Relax the cheeks. 
relax the entire face. The eyelids are heavy. The eyeballs are falling deeper into the head. The eyebrows are relaxed. The forehead is melting off of the face. And then if you're ready to start coming back to the physical body, starting to inhale through the nose, deep into the belly, come back to the room, and come back to the space, start moving the fingers slowly, start moving the toes, the ankles, the wrists. And then rolling onto your right side. Bring the knees into the chest. And then coming up as you're ready. And then sealing in the practice, bringing the palms together. Just bring in one thought of something you're so grateful for, even if it's just the time to move the body, feel good for an hour. Mm, carry this into your day, into your night.